Virginia, our working day in the Ukrainian Crisis Media Center. Thank you for watching us and stream. Thank you for attending the briefing. And uh, um, uh, our current briefing is announcing the concert from Spain with love. We have the um, uh, Miss uh, uh, Laura Alonso Padin, we have counselor on cultural issues from the Embassy of Spain. We have Mikola Shalak leading uh, uh, and uh, Ilona Shulak, Director of Concert Agency, your impresario, and Elena Hosak from your impresario agency. And I'm happy to give the floor to Ilona. Good evening. I would like to announce that on February 19th, we are happy to invite you to the concert hall of the Security Service of Ukraine uh, Culture Club. Mm -hmm. uh, in concert, uh, you will see Mikola Shulak, leading tenor of the National Opera of Ukraine, and our guest, uh, uh, Laura Alonso Padin, sup famous soprano from Spain, and uh, 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 also, Kievska Camerata Ensemble of Son Solis will accompany to the singers, and uh, the, uh, it will be conducted by Valery Matyuhin. Um, we uh, will have in the uh, uh, repertoire uh, Verdes, Denizetis, Arias, uh, and also operate does areas and uh, uh, you will also enjoy Italian and uh, uh, songs and of course our guest uh, Laura Alonso Padin will uh, will sing Sarsuela, a typical Spanish song. You will enjoy the concert, of course. Who will speak the next? Uh, I invite everybody on February 19th to our concert, uh, which will be held uh, in the SBU um, uh, Culture Club at Irininska Street, uh, number 10. We will have uh, very interesting and uh, uh, multiple uh, program representing broad broad variety of melodies and uh, th this is the first concert of Laura in Kiev and uh, we are happy that we have made this uh, project uh, I would like to say that uh, for me is a really great honor to be in this country and to sing with this amazing Ukrainian tenor, Mikola Shuliak. And uh, I have only to say thank you also to the help, very big help of the Spanish embassy. Mm, it's for me very important as a Spanish artist to, to sing in all the countries I can. I like uh, the Ukraine very much. I, I sang also in Lviv of the Opera House Traviata, and I hope to come in another time. And I, I think the people will enjoy this music. The Zarzuela music is very nice, very popular music, and of course, really representative from our culture, our country, our people. I think culture can, can do fantastic things. And uh, through this culture, I can know new new friends and uh, present these these songs and this um, yes this culture from my country in another place is is a honor for me. I am from Galicia. We also have our our songs in Galician in our language. We don't have any zarzuela, but I really enjoy always to to sing this music. And uh, the orchestra is very nice. They play our zarzuela very good. So I am really so happy. And thank you also, Ilona Shuliak, for all your help, your help 
every day and for to organize also this concert. So good. Thank you very much. Thank you. From the Spanish Embassy, we are delighted to have with us Laura Alonso Padin and singing together with Nicolas Juliac. We are delighted that we are having another highlight in the cooperation between Spanish and Ukrainian artists here in Ukraine. Um, we want to pursue in this cooperation. It is very important for us. We have put two important milestones in this cooperation this year already. We had on the 5th of February already here at the Philharmonica a concert with um, a Spanish tenor Israel Lozano singing together with Olga Chuvareva. And it was one of the occasions to let the Ukrainian audience know about zarzuela and what zarzuela means, which is um, a Spanish typical lyric genre, uh, which um, was is extremely popular in Spain. It has its origins in the theater. It dates back to the 16th century, although the zarzuela, as we know uh, now, uh, is a product of the 19th century. and. Well, you will be able to listen to some pieces of, of Zarzuela in this uh, international concert because there are, as uh, Ilona told you before, there are international um, composers. We have Bisset, we have Puccini, we have uh, Bellini, yes, many different um, composers. And um, I really look forward to the concert. I hope all the Ukrainians come and see this uh, magnificent duo uh, sing together. And we will surely make our most to have future corporations like the one we have today. Thank you very much for the organizers of the concert, El Empresario, and um, we hope you, you come and enjoy it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Maybe a couple of words, Elena, you will add. Uh, I would like to thank to the representatives of the, um, the Spanish Embassy, especially Tamara Zavala, um, because uh, for the support that uh, you provided to our young concert uh, agency, uh, it's our first international project. It happened that. Uh, uh, Mikola Shalak and Laura, Laura Alonso mm, uh, uh, sent together in China. And uh, when Mikola came and said that uh, he has uh, had established a contact with the very good uh, singer, we immediately decided to, um, uh, to have this concert. That's why we invite uh, uh, audience uh, to attend the concert, and not only the embassy who assisted us so much, uh, but we also uh, invited uh, uh, um, representatives from the National Opera Theater. We also invited representatives from the National Philharmonic Society. Um, uh, to uh, present uh, this uh, good uh, um, uh, uh, singer, uh, Laura Alonso, to them. And uh, of course, uh, um, we hope that in the future, uh, we will open a uh, national opera theater and uh, national philharmonic uh, uh, society uh, concert halls for her because her voice is unique. Uh, so after this first performance, when people will have an uh, opportunity to to see Laura for the first time. We hope to see Laura in the future in leading party in one of the opera performances in our opera house. Um, 
And uh, uh, the first question, of course, is about the price of tickets, uh, where it is possible to purchase tickets, whether it is possible to purchase them online, uh, and uh, whether you invited any representatives from executive authorities, maybe Minister of Culture. Yeah, we expect uh, that uh, the Minister of Culture uh, uh, will send its representatives. Uh, um, as for the price for tickets, uh, our price for tickets uh, is between 40 up to uh, 350 hryvnia, and you can find them on such online services as Contrabass, uh, uh, 1001 tickets, uh, and all those uh, services are very available. Uh, and uh, they could, uh, you can purchase both online and on cash desks. Ms. Laura, Pana Mikolaj, if you can maybe ask an ear, I'll ask a question in English. I'm really interested in uh, how did you come up with this idea to organize this event in Kiev? And as I understood, you know each other for a couple of months or maybe for, or for a couple of years. Could you share a few words on, on this issue? When did you meet? How did you meet? And how did you decide to um, uh, this event to take place in a couple of days in Kiev? Yes, um, uh, I have seen Mikola was in China, in the city of Chengdu. This is West China, a very big city, <laughs> like every city in China, with more than 20 million populations, so it's a very big one. But uh, yes, China, uh, this year, 2016, and uh, we'll have uh, 51 more opera theatres, 51, okay? China is, uh, yes, China begin really to, to do many, many big things with culture and uh, like to, to, to do more opera. And uh, of course, it's very good for the European American singers. These things are really very good. And uh, I have, um, I am living in Germany. So and uh, in Germany have many Ukrainian friends, very, very good artists. And they told me about uh, uh, Mikola. And the German conductor, Michael Köller, he invited uh, Mikola Shuliak. He decided to, to, take, to take him as Alfredo in Traviata. And uh, this was our first time there singing together. And uh, of course, he told me perhaps we can do also in my country something. I will be very happy to invite Mikola to Spain because in Spain, yes, it's a country with tenors, and we love uh, tenor voices, and uh, I hope I can also invite him there to sing a concert like here, like that. Yes. Thank you. Panna Mikola, kilka slip. Tak. Uh, and uh, so when uh, Laura invited me to join the uh, performance in China, I uh, gladly stuck with this uh, suggestion because I've never been to China before and I uh, understood that it's very rapidly developing country and uh, uh, there was an excellent team, a good conductor, uh, good uh, um, uh, German, singer of German party, Mikola Mjalovic from Serbia, and uh, it impressed me very much. Then I decided that I should invite Laura to Kiev to show Ukraine to Laura, to show Kiev to Laura, and uh, um, uh, we decided to make this program. Uh, we reached an agreement with orchestra, with this concert hall, and invited Laura. Thank you very much. Uh, mm. We had you here a couple of weeks ago. You came here with your colleagues, uh, Spanish tenor Israel Lozano and uh, Ukrainian soprano Olga Shubarova. Now, 
today you are here again and it's really good positive growing tendency so could you share maybe you have some other plans in the nearest future to organize similar events in ukraine and kiev Yes, thanks to the concert which took place on the 5th of February, we had very positive feedback from Ukrainian audience saying, oh, I've discovered a new world of Tarzuela, and that, uh, bearing in mind, it was only a small representation of what Tarzuela really is, because it's very costly to set up a proper Tarzuela uh, with the scenery and um, even though we had very positive feedback and thanks to that concert, we're getting new suggestions and we're getting new approaches from different institutions who would like to have more Spanish music in Ukraine and continue this cooperation which has been initiated. Um, today, as a matter of fact, I received a, a proposal by Madrid uh, and this one matches very well with another proposition I got from the Opereta and we are working as of now in order to bring uh, another Spanish young uh, soprano in this case. She was the winner of a, of a prize organized by the Fundación Orfeo. And yes, little by little we are uh, moving in this direction. Of course, from the cultural section of the Spanish Embassy in Kiev, we not only um, work in the area of uh, Zarzuela and opera, but uh, cover other other areas of interest. Uh, this is for us a very important year because we're celebrating 400 years since Cervantes' death and we're commemorating that with a big exhibition on Cervantes um, with uh, different round tables to look at Ukraine uh, from Cervantes' perspective. We're organizing this with uh, Ukrainian um, writers who know about Ukraine today and are able to see how present Cervantes' message was, Cervantes who talked about liberty, dignity and these very important values today and ever. So with a, with a positive approach, with the luck to have people such as um, Ilona uh, and her team at the Empresario and to have the excellent uh, motivation and astounding talent by Ukrainian artists, we think we have very much to offer. So I thank you all very much. We are happy to see Laura. We are happy to see Laura. Uh, Laura travels uh, uh, much around the world. She is a laureate of many international competitions. Uh, uh, um, and uh, um, it's a big honor to to be a winner in many festivals and competitions where Laura is a winner. Mm, and uh, uh, at the concert, uh, an experts will immediately understand that uh, Laura has uh, an excellent singing te uh, technique, and she she uh, she has got very good uh, singing schooling and. Um, why do you find it important to make this kind of ha this kind of events happen in Ukraine? Why do you find it important for yourself? How could it be important for for Ukraine, for Spain, and for the cooperation between these two countries? Uh, a few words. Who's going to start? Mm, you know, <laughs> I think um, at this moment in the world we have uh, we hear every day really quite uh, important uh, problems every day, every minute, every second that I think uh, perhaps um, for the audience, for everyone to have uh, two or three hours a little peace with this wonderful music of composers like Verdi or Jiménez, Moreno Torrova. I, can, I am sure every one of them, of these composers, also had a, a difficult time uh, when, when they live. And I mean, culture or music is very, very important. The culture in general, more now than ever. 
and I hope, <laughs> I mean, I, I, I wish I could do um, these concerts or all my friends and artists, my colleagues, my, my, they are my family. I, I hope with the culture we can help the people to, to feel a little bit better in these difficult times, I think. And that's why culture is now most important than ever. So. I would like to add to what Laura said. Our impresario agency, which jointly with Elena Hosak, uh, works hard also to strengthen the cultural dialogue. We believe that when the culture is closed, when it is not developing, when it is not uh, accommodating something new from other cultures, then the development of culture stops. And it seems to me that this project would allow us to contribute just something to the dialogue of cultures, which allows all the cultures to develop, because Spanish culture um, uh, has a, a very uh, melodical music. Um, and uh, probably Ukrainian musical culture will be interesting for Spanish. Culture and thus we will have a dialogue of cultures. We have, for example, even Ukrainian song in our program, and you will see all this. I'm representing uh, the technical side of organizational side of uh, this project, and I should say that in these uh, times of economic uh, hardships, when uh, we are uh, in debating the new law on uh, culture, and when it uh, it comes uh, to uh, the uh, um, support, financial support to artists about earning money by artists uh, mm, when artists are protected uh, protected by uh, permanent contract with the theater uh, that's one thing but uh, in line with our new law about uh, organization of uh, all cultural events then artists uh, will uh, uh, need uh, to uh, find a broader audience to develop concert movement. And uh, um, th this is uh, also our contribution to the development of this concert approach. Mr. McCullough, would you like to add a couple of words? Mm, I'm a staff singer of the in the National uh, Opera, uh, I performed in three opera parties, and uh, uh, um, I continue to extend my repertoire. And uh, also, I uh, sing in many concerts. Uh, Elena is right. Uh, we should look for uh, new horizons for new projects, uh, exchange with our experience and maintain dialogue. And uh, this, uh, this is the approach which is taken by the uh, administration of the National Opera Theatre. Mm. Question. Of course, uh, culture and music are universal languages. But with very specific projects, such as this one, we can see we can understand each other very well, even though sometimes we do not speak the same uh, language. But even though we understand each other, we want to create culture. We want to create, as Laura said and pointed out, positive atmosphere. Um, culture is extremely important for, for, for the persons as such and for countries as such. Uh, for the persons, because it gives them uh, a richness which you cannot achieve otherwise. If you are, if your culture is taken away, then your whole person is taken away. 
Um, and for a country, culture is important in many different uh, ways. Uh, from, an, from a national point of view, culture strengthens your identity, which is very important now in Ukraine. And it also opens your mind uh, to new horizons. And even uh, there is an economical point of view uh, into culture, very developed societies and very developed cities uh, are, 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 are happy to devote enormous amounts of money to culture because it's also very profitable. Uh, culture is good for the persons and it's good for, for the economy and for the country itself. So um, I really encourage uh, the media to include more cultural uh, content because in the long run I think it's a safe bet. Since there are no further um, questions, I would like to add final comment. I uh, um, would suggest that in your future plans, you might organize similar events in Ukrainian biggest cities like Poltava, uh, Odessa, Lviv, Kharkiv, maybe, um, where people are, are also eager to attend uh, such events, uh, not just in the capital in, in Kiev. Conference at this point. Thank you for coming, and we're always looking forward to having you here in Ukraine Christ Media Center. Thank you very much, and to the next See you.